Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator's IT Expansion. In the last episode, we unlocked Decor. So if you missed that episode and you want to check it out, I'll put a link up in the upper right hand corner so you can do so. Now, if you don't know what Decor is, it's stuff like this. Things we can put around the office. The first thing you get is PC Building Simulator, the board game. Don't know how you would play that, but, you know, <laughs> I guess it's something. Uh, let's see. So to go into the customization mode, we push C, and then you can see all these places around the office that we can put decor. Like, there's so many places we can put stuff. So I was thinking maybe at the beginning of this episode, we could start by buying at least a decor item or two. We've got a little over six grand. And we could spend, the stuff is really expensive, but we could spend some money and maybe get a few things. So we come here to the Decor app. We're going to open that up. And, well, I mean, what is an office without a coffee maker? I think I need a coffee maker. I don't know about the $100 for coffee beans, but definitely, <laughs> definitely uh, a coffee maker. Then, I, like, I don't even know. Like, here's a couch. Got, like, what is this, a book? Candles. Some old floppies. Fall Guys, the physical edition. <laughs> oh, man. What well, looks to be an old GameCube. So much stuff. CD-ROMs. I think we need a chair or something, though. At some point, we're going to need to get the Vindotron 9000. But obviously, I don't have enough money for that. But we could definitely get some kind of a chair. I don't really know where chairs go, but I think we could figure it out. Why, why is this so expensive? Man. And these look uncomfortable. So maybe... Do we want custard or pimento? Because I'm thinking about getting one of these com comfy, <laughs> comfy chairs... Uh, since they're about 500 bucks, that's not a bad deal. I don't know how I feel about custard. Maybe we'll go for pimento. We'll at least buy two things here. Simulated, stimulated delivery. Empowered delivery. Or relaxed delivery. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, stimulated delivery is next day for 30 bucks. I think we can do that. We definitely don't need to spend an extra hundred bucks just to get it here today. We will put things where they need to go when they get here. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. Order received. Cheers. Your item will arrive tomorrow. That's a decor promise. Well, we'll see. We will see. So we've got some emails. We've got some stuff here in the ticket. But let's get out of customization mode because we don't need that right this minute. We've got two PCs over here. One needs to be fixed. One needs to be upgraded. So let's pull up the tablet. And let's see what this one is. Someone else took my PC while I was up at Eurotech Northwest. Rude. And now I'm stuck with this piece of trash. Everything's loading slowly and the internet is all buggy. Apparently you should try optimizing, whatever that is, with a tool called Biteback to fix slow loading and Blinked is a good app for checking the network configuration. Also, someone installed Heart of Stone on here. Isn't that a video game? I don't need that. So we need to make sure that the PC can boot to the operating system. We need to run Byte Back and Blinked and uninstall Heart of Stone. So I'm going to click Go to PC. So that's this one here. Let's grab it. Let's go put it over here on the workbench. Dang, that's a big old case. <laughs> I <laughs> was not expecting that. Oh, man. Well, let's see if it powers on. It seems like it's going to work for us. Let me hop into the BIOS real fast. Do they need XMP on? Nope, they sure don't. They sure don't. So let's see if this thing boots into the operating system. And if it does, then we should just be able to, to do what they wanted to get done here with the Running Byte back and blinked and uninstalling Heart of Stone. 
So let me grab a USB drive. Get that installed. We need to get Byte Back and Blinked on here. Let's see. Here's Blinked. And here's Byte Back. And can we uninstall Heart of Stone before... Yeah, we can. Before we do a restart. So we should only have to restart once. This is going to be nice and, nice and simple. Nice, simple job to start off with. Okay. So let's run Blinked first since it's up top. The internet's a terrible place. Let Blinked take you there. <laughs> oh, man. Connection established. All right, so now we need to run Byte back. Byte back, because time is money. Click Start to optimize storage performance and file integrity. So we're going to let this run. Whatever it's doing, optimization complete. I think we are done with that. That was uh, incredibly simple. So let's go stick this over here and we'll grab this fix. I don't know what needs to be done to it, but we'll take a look at the email here in just a sec. So let's go ahead, let's collect this one because it's done. You're a natural of this. I've got a few meetings today, but I'll get those onboarding documents for you as soon as I'm back at my desk. Sure you will. Sure you will. So we've got a, this is considered a backlog. This is the in progress. It says I need you to run a disk optimizer and then clean up some files. It's getting impossible to find anything. Might be good if you added another stick of whatever RAM's in there. I wish you could double my memory too. <laughs> okay. So we need to run Clean It Pro, Byte Back, and install two G Skill Trident Z Silver 8 gig 4500 megahertz. They need two of them? Oh my. Oh, they already have one, so they just need two in total. So let's grab one of those from the store. The 8 gig 4500 megahertz. So here we go. Let's add that to the cart. And I'm going to do next day delivery, I think. Let me double check, actually. Let's go back here to ticket. So we've got three days, so we will do this for next day delivery. So we'll get in our decor. We'll also get in the Trident Z to put in here. But we can go ahead and run Clean It Pro and Bite Back. So let's do that. We'll power this on. Should we hop into the BIOS? Why not? Why not? I always like to see if XMP... Oh, yeah. XMP needed to be turned on. What's the point in having that expensive RAM? You don't even have XMP on. Okay, so while this is booting up, I'm going to grab a USB drive and get that installed. And then we can get Clean It Pro and Byte back on here. Let's see. Clean It Pro. Here's Byte back. Let's go ahead and get that installed. And where's Clean It Pro? There it is. Right in front of my face. Okay. Get that installed. Let's restart it. And then we will actually order the RAM. So when we end our day, we'll get the new RAM in. And we can get this computer all finished and out the door. All right. Fight back. We'll let it fill in its little squares of whatever it's doing. <laughs> Oh, me. All right, so that's done. And then Clean It Pro. When was the last time you felt clean? Okay. There we go. Clean up complete. So we just need to get RAM. So let's open up the tablet here. Let's go back to the shop. Next day delivery. Buy it now. And we can go into our day because we don't have anything else here. And we'll get in our decor. Oh man. What is all of this? Oh goodness me. Remember that new business venture I mentioned? It's nearly ready. I'm just waiting to hear back from one of my new suppliers. 
think they ran into a bit of legal trouble. In the meantime, I came across some half-finished PCs in one of my storage units, and I'm shipping them to you. Now, it might look like I'm sending you a bunch of my old junk to make space, but with a bit of TLC, you could probably sell them for a tidy bit of cash. Should be easy for an expert like you. No? Think about it, Uncle Tim. All right. All right. So, our decor... What is this? New arrivals. Today we're welcoming some new items to the decor catalog. Are you excited? You should be. Okay. So some new stuff. Very nice. We'll have to check that out later. Let's get rid of that. So here's something from Brandon at Riggs Riggs. I'm Brandon Rigg, owner and operator of Riggs Riggs, the finest computer hardware reseller in the immediate area. If you've got any PCs you don't need, I'm always buying. Just put them in the walk-up cupboard by the kitchen, I'll pop over every Thursday evening. Don't worry, I'll let myself in. If anything catches my eye, I'll make you an offer. And I never underpay or overcharge. That's Riggs Riggs Guarantee. I've been in the biz for over 10 years, and I base all my valuations on hardware quality and benchmark performance. When I make an offer, you can be sure it's the best deal you'll get. Okay, take it or leave it. You won't find a better price, but no pressure. Have a look around to see if you've got any PCs you might want to shift. I'll swing by on Thursday evening. Oh yes, this will be a great little earner for us both. Just you wait. So I guess that's how we get rid of some of these PCs if we want to fix them up. Okay. So uh, let's move that. Decor's got a bunch of new stuff. Can we make... Oh my gosh. How do we make make the... Did I just have to look at all of it? That didn't work. Okay, I don't know how to make the 22 go away from the decor app. But we've got this in progress we're working on, and then we've got the backlog. So we will check that out in just a minute. What is this? You can now sell PCs to Riggs Riggs. Put any PCs you want to sell on the shelves in the storage room next to the kitchen. Okay. So I'm guessing this... The storage room here. All right, so we can put PCs there that we want to sell off. We'll take a look at our decor here in a minute. I want to get this RAM installed so we can get this PC out of our way. I'm just going to power this thing down. And we'll get some RAM installed. Here it is. In it goes. Let's make sure it powers on, and we should be good to go. Nice. Very nice. Let me get the side panel on, and we can get this thing out in the delivery area. We'll go ahead and collect this one. Put that there. Let's open this up. And we will collect. Oh, I was wondering where my PC went. Thanks for sorting it. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we have... Don't know what that email's about. That's what we just did. We've got an off-site here. We've done this one. There we go. Our email's starting to look a little bit cleaner here now. That's great. So let's take a look at this off-site that we need to do here. So this is going to sound weird, but I need you to come back to my office and get Fall Guys to work on my PC. I need it to keep my daughter happy between design painting sessions. I'll explain in the ticket notes. Should probably get Typo installed as well so I can keep a project diary. Actually, you better check the network connection too. Seems okay right now, but the last thing I need is for it to cut out midway through a game. My kid would go nuts. Okay, so let's see. We need to get... Fall Guys installed, Typo installed, and run blinked. So, they've got 16 gigs of RAM, a 1080. I don't see why Fall Guys would not run on this with a 2700X. Let's see what Typo and Fall Guys requires to run. Let's go over here to Will It Run. Let's look at Fall Guys first. So a Ryzen 3 and an R9. Oh, yeah. They should be able to run either one of those. What about Typo? 
Let's get down here to the T's. There we go. And that should be easy to run as well. So I don't think we need to order anything. I think we can go do the off-site. But before we do that, I want to check out this decor. Open this up. We got a chair and a coffee maker. Let's place these items now. I need to... There we go. So can I put, put the coffee maker over here? Let's go here first. Coffee maker. So we're going to place this. You can swap or remove items on display at any time. To remove an item and place it back into your inventory, select it and click remove. Okay. Well, now we got a coffee maker. Heck yeah. That's what we need. And then where is this chair going to go? I think it, I think it kind of tells me where it's going to fit. So the chair will go over here. So let's place, let's see, I want to do it in this slot. There we go. Yeah, now we got a chair. Heck yeah. Okay. Chair and a coffee pot. We are getting set have a nice sit down and a cup of coffee. <laughs> Just what every office needs. Okay, so let's go try to do this off-site thing since it's due tomorrow and everything is going to work on their PC, hopefully, without us needing to buy anything. So let's visit the off-site location. All right. It's already got a USB in it. We need to get Fall Guys. There it is. And then typo and run blinked. So let's get blinked on there. Slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> and typo. There we go. Let's restart this. Should be good to go. All right, let's run linked. It's like uh, sonar or something here. We're good. Connection established. Okay. I think we are done with that. Let's bring up the tablet here. Let's go back to the workshop. Hop in our little Honda. And we should be able to collect this one. There we go. Thanks for helping out. Now I just have to figure out how to get my kid into the office without anyone noticing. Well, good luck with that. Okay. So Riggs Riggs up here is just trying to remind us that if we want to get anything out to sell, he'll pick it up on Thursday. So we may take a look at that in the next episode, but is there anything that needs to be done? Five days. Five days. And five days. Oh, man. So, let's see. Oh, look at this filthy thing. Look at that filthy thing. Let's get all of these on a workbench. But unfortunately, they're going to have to wait until the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. So you get notified as soon as the video goes live. Also, if you want to help support me, there is a link to my Patreon down in the description. Or if you prefer, you can hit the join button next to the subscribe button and become a channel member. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next episode.